Hi guys, welcome to Make Stuff channel. In this video, I'll be adding an internal SSD to my laptop. I'm using SSD for OS and uh, hard disk for other media. So let's get started with the installation. I'm using a WD Green SSD which I purchased from Amazon. If you want to purchase the same, you can find the link in the description. Next step is to remove the battery and back cover of the laptop. Then find the screw which secures your optical disk drive and then unscrew it and remove the optical drive. Now remove the extended part which secures the optical drive to the laptop. Next remove the front portion of the optical drive. Next, we need to purchase a caddy drive to secure and mount the SSD to the laptop. While purchasing the caddy, make sure you purchase the right size. For me, it was 9.5 mm caddy. For some of you, it may be 12.7 mm caddy. Next, mount the SSD to the caddy. After that, connect the extended part to the caddy drive so that you can secure it to the laptop. Next, connect the front portion of the optical drive to the caddy drive. After all the connection, insert the caddy drive and secure the caddy drive to the laptop with the screw. After that, put back the battery and the back cover and turn on the laptop. Next step is to transfer the OS to the SSD. To transfer the OS to SSD, we need to download and install Macrium Reflect software. In the software, you can see the disk 2 which is the SSD we just installed. Next click on clone this disk and then click on the option select the disk to clone. Now drag all the partition which contains the system files. And if there is any extra unused space, just maximize the size of the C drive. To maximize the size, select the C portion and click on clone partition properties. And then select the option maximum size and click OK. After that, click on next and then again click on next and then click on finish in the next window name your partition and click ok which will start copying the os to your ssd this may take a very long time so make sure you are connected to the power while doing this for me it took around 20 minutes for you it may take long time depending on the size of your c drive after everything is copied, close the Macrium Reflect software and open your My Computer where you can find your SSD disk with a drive letter assigned to it. So in the next step, let's make the SSD drive as our boot drive. To do this, we need to access the BIOS setting. In Lenovo G505S, to access the BIOS setting, turn off the system and then press the small button which is near the power button. Now in the BIOS setting, go to the boot and under the legacy tab, move the SSD to the number one position and save the setting and exit the boot. If you have done everything correctly, it should boot without any problem and your SSD drive should be changed from old drive letter to C drive and if you want, you can delete the old C partition. So that's it for this video guys. Hope this video was helpful to you.
If it was, please consider subscribing to the channel and please leave a like to this video. See you in the next video guys and thank you for watching.